In Photoshop, if you want to edit and adjust a certain area, you will have to make a selection. Marquee Tool is one of the most used tools in making selection. Without making a selection, you can only make adjustments to an entire layer. In most cases, this is not what you want. You can find the Rectangular Marquee Tool in the toolbar. The shortcut is M. This way you can frame an area you want to adjust. Then you can use any of the other tools to make adjustments just for this certain area. When the area you want to select is not a rectangle, but an elliptical. You can use the elliptical marquee tool, which is just below the rectangular marquee tool. In this way, you can make a selection in the elliptical. Then edit the image in this elliptical selection. In some cases, you will use the single row or column marquee tool. All you need to do is select the single row marquee tool and click anywhere on the screen. This will select one row with a height of only one pixel or use the single column marquee tool. You can select one column with only one pixel wide. There are several options for the marquee tool. Add to selection and subtract from selection are two relatively commonly used functions. When a certain area has been selected, you can use add selection by using the add selection tool. The shortcut is to hold the shift key when you making second selection. It doesn't matter if it's a rectangular or elliptical marquee tool you are using. The subtract from selection tool will help you minus certain selection from the original. The shortcut is to hold the option key if it's a Mac and alt if it's a PC. In option, there is a style function. You can use it to lock the certain ratio when you're using marquee tools. or use the certain size you want. Feather in Photoshop refers to soft edges. You can also make a feather selection. For example, I want to change the sky color of this image. It won't work if I just use rectangular marquee tool or any other marquee tool without making a feather selection. First, go to the option bar of the marquee tool. Input how much you want feather the selection. Then, you can use the Marquee tool to make a rough selection where you want to change the color of the sky. Remember, you will have to make a selection 50% larger than how much you want to feather. Otherwise, the selection edges will not be visible. This soft-edged selection can help you edit the image better. This feather feature works on not only both rectangular and elliptical Marquee tools, but also all the selection tools in Photoshop. All the tools that make selections can always work with these tips. 1. Hold Shift key can make your rectangular selection a perfect square. Also, Hold Shift key can give you a perfect circular selection when you use the elliptical marquee tool. 2. When you already have a selection, Hold the Option or Alt key can help you make a selection subtract from the old selection. If you start the first selection by holding Option or Alt key, you can make this selection from the center of the rectangular or elliptical. And if you hold Option or Alt key together with Shift key, you can make a square or circular selection from the center. 3. To move the selections, you can use the Marquee tool and put your mouse into the selection, then click and move. It can move the whole selection to anywhere you want. 4. To cancel the selection, you can use Command-D if it's a Mac or Control-D if it's a PC. Remember, deselect will cancel all the selection at once. But if you accidentally cancel the selection, you can always go to Select and click Reselect. 5. And if you want to select everything except one thing, you can select the one thing first, then go to Select and click Inverse to inverse the selection. The shortcut is Command-I if it's a Mac or Control-I if it's a PC. That's for today's video, thanks for watching. In this series of videos, we will go through everything in Photoshop in a most simple and clear way. And also try our best to answer everything in the comment to help. 
please consider hitting the like button or subscribe to support this channel.